Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Engine video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to create new projects in Unreal Engine. So let's get started. I double click on Unreal Engine shortcut available at the desktop. You can see that Unreal project browser window got open. In the leftmost section, you can find project categories. If you are interested in making games, then select games. If you are interested in making films or creating live events, then select film or video and live events. If you are interested in making architecture based projects, then select architecture. If you are interested in making projects for automotive product design and manufacturing industry, then select automotive product design and manufacturing project category guys. As we are interested in making games, I select here games. Each project category gives you set of project templates to start with. For example, if you are interested in making first person game, then select first person project template. If you are interested in making third person game, then select third person project template. If you are interested in making top down game, then select top down project template. If you are interested in making vehicle based game, then select vehicle project template, etc, etc guys. If you are interested in making any type of game from scratch, then select the blank project template. Blank project template creates a clean empty project with no code guys. First you select the project category, then select the project template. Next under project defaults, select the project type. If your project type is blueprint based, then select the blueprint. If you want to create C++ based project, then select C++ here. I leave blueprint guys. Next, select the target platform. If you are targeting your game for high-end devices like desktop or console, then select desktop here. If you are targeting your game for low-end devices like mobile tablet, then target platform must be mobile guys. I leave here desktop. Next, quality preset indicates graphics quality guys. If you are targeting your game for high-end devices like desktop or console, then quality preset should be maximum. If you are targeting your game for low-end devices like mobile or tablet, then quality preset you select scalable guys. Next, we have starter content. If you want to add some predefined measures, materials, textures, then you tick this starter content checkbox. I don't want to add any starter content because definitely we can add the starter content later also. We can adjust these settings later also guys. Next. We have ray tracing. If you want to produce high quality real time lighting effects and shadow effects, then select the ray tracing guys. If you do not want to produce high quality lighting effects, shadow effects, then untick it. Okay. Next, we are going to select the project location guys. I am going to leave at the desktop. I want to create a project at the desktop guys. If you want to save it at somewhere else, then click on this browse for a folder button and decide the location guys. Next, we have to give the project name. As I am creating a blank project, I am going to say here new blank project and then I click on the create button. That creates a new blank project guys. That is how you create a new project in Unreal Engine. You can see that a new blank project got open and also an untitled level is open here. I click on the play button to play the game. Now we are in the play mode guys. When we are in the play mode, using the mouse, we can look around the scene, you can see, and we can use WASD keys to navigate around the scene. I press the W key, I press the A key to move left, I press the D key to move right, I press the S key to move back. So like that, you can use WASD keys to navigate around the scene, as well as you can use the mouse to look around the scene guys. If you want to come out of the play mode, then press the escape key guys. In the new blank project, you can see that we don't find any character guys. We don't find any character here, right? Okay. Now what I do, I'm going to close this project. Okay. Let's create a first person project guys. So what I do, I double click on Unreal Engine shortcut available at the desktop. Again, Unreal project browser window got open and you can see that in the recent projects category, you will find all the recent projects here guys. Okay. Now I want to create a first person game. So I select here games. Then I select the project template first person. 
and you can see it is telling the first person template features a player character represented by a pair of arms which is viewed from the first person perspective guys and then under project defaults i say project type blueprint target platform desktop quality preset maximum i am not adding any starter content and real time ray tracing disabled project location desktop and the project name i give fps project and then i say create you can see it has created one more project and now the project is going to get open you can see that fps project got open now we we click on the play button and you can see that we can find a first person character let's move forward here we got a gun in hand and we can move forward move backward we can go left right we can jump we can navigate around the scene as well as we can shoot so that's the first person template allows you to do guys i press the escape key to come out of the play mode now i close this project let's create the third person project i double click on unreal engine shortcut you can see that unreal project browser window got open here in the recent projects you can find new blank project as well as fps project i want to create a third person project so i select games i select here third person project template next you can see it is telling the third person pack features a playable character where the camera is positioned behind and slightly above the character guys under project defaults i say project type blueprint target platform desktop graphics quality maximum that is the quality preset next starter content untick ray tracing untick project location desktop and the project name i give tps project i say third person shooter project i click on a create button that's how you create new projects guys in unreal engine you can see that tps project got open we can click on the play button and play the game you can see there is a third person character and now we can navigate around right we can jump we can go back we can go left we can go right right we can look around the scene like that right that is the third person project template guys i press the escape key to come out of the play mode i close this project i hope you guys have clearly understood how to create new projects in unreal engine I suggest you people to try it yourself. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.